Hi guys, do you want to speed up your writing process? In this video, I'm gonna show you some nice short commands in Final Draft 11. Hi guys, my name is Maria and this is another character. So if you like tutorials like this, that you're about to see and films and TV shows and screenwriting, then this channel is for you. So please consider subscribing. So let's get into those short commands in Final Draft. So I'm inside Final Draft 11 and I'm using a Mac, but most of these commands will work on a PC as well. But instead of using Option, you should use Alt. But I will show you as during this tutorial how to do it in a PC too. So if I use press I, it's just gonna assume I want to write interior or if I put E it's gonna assume I want to write exterior if and if you want to write exterior you just, just hit enter and then if I am going to write something and I want to have a character by just pressing the tab button I get into the middle and then I can write Maria and then enter and I automatically go down to the dialogue hello how are you? And then enter and I go back to the actual action. So this is a really nice way to make it speed up because basically you can just go up here and then just hit, like pick all this stuff here, but that's gonna take a while. So I have some more cool short commands coming up. So basically what um, key you want to work with is option if you're using Mac. Or on a PC, it should be Control Alt. So if I would hit Option One, I get Interior. If I hit Option Two, I get Exterior. If I hit Option Three, I get both Interior and Exterior. And if I hit Option Four, I get Day. Option Five, Night. Option Six sunrise option seven magic i don't really know what magic oh mary maybe harry potter is here i don't know option eight continuing option nine interrupting but i don't really use this so if you would have a pc you would basically just hit Control plus alt and then number one or number two and pretty much me the same options. So if I hit option shift one, I get cut two and it just assumes I'm going to do another slug line. So, okay, let's do interior. And then if I hit, hit option shift number three, I get fade out. If I hit option shift five, dissolve two. If I hit option shift six, I get match cut two, never use. <laughs> if I hit option shift eight, I get fade to black. So if you want to hit enter again, you can just pick one of these and you see how they have a letter. So if I want to have character, I can you hit the letter C? So let's hit letter C and I get character and it will be Karen. Hello. So that makes the whole thing speed up very good. And if you want to find these commands, you just go up to document and then you go down to macros because that's how they are called in Final Draft. And you get in here and you can pretty much see, okay, option one, interior, and that's what's gonna happen if you hit that one. You can just go through all this and find this. Uh, but I don't really change this because I think it's working just fine the way it is. That's cool, huh? So hopefully this will speed up your process. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if you want to learn how to change one character through the whole screenplay by just clicking a few buttons, please watch this video. Stay safe. Keep on writing. I'll see you in the next one. Hello.